This Assembly Audible podcast is made possible by Weiss. With Weiss, you get more out of your processes, measurable in time and money. Every motion begins with Weiss. Weiss, North America, inspiring automation. Learn more at www.weiss-world.com. Hello, and welcome to Assembly Audible. I'm your host, multimedia editor, Jennifer Pierce. Our guest on this episode is Mr. Bill Epic, the CEO of the Weiss Group Americas since 2004. Weiss has been such an important support of Assembly Audible throughout 2022. So much so that Assembly Audible Weiss might be a phrase you're familiar with seeing and hearing. On behalf of the entire team, I would like to say thank you, Mr. Epic, for making much of what I've been able to do, been able to produce possible throughout this year. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Weiss is a manufacturer of rotary indexing tables, robotics, and motion control solutions. Weiss is globally headquartered in Germany, with regional headquarters for the Americas in Cleveland, Ohio. Mr. Epic, welcome to Assembly Audible. Let's get started with some questions. Great, looking forward to it. What trends are you finding in the factory automation industry and markets currently? Yeah, so we're all aware of the, you know, some of the issues that we're dealing with with the economy, uh, with things like inflation, um, supply chain disruptions, and those types of things. But what we're seeing in automation, it, it has been resilient to what's going on in the, the economy right now. So most you know, of, the, of our peers here uh, today, we can see at the show today you know, how busy it is uh, that the automation segment and sector has been very, um, you know, remain strong uh, in light of what's going on you know, globally and in the economy today. So there's a lot of heavy investment that we're seeing right now in automation, especially in EV, uh, battery um, development uh, for storage as well as for vehicle. Um, also for a lot of traditional assembly automation uh, type customers that we see out there today, we're seeing a lot of growth and a lot of very heavy investment from a lot of our customers in a lot of different segments. Um, in addition, things like life sciences um, in a lot of other you know, assembly type customers that we've worked with for that many years are, are continuing to invest heavily in light of what we're seeing in things, you know, in the economy, stock market, inflation, all those types of things. Okay, great. How has Weiss adjusted their approach to the markets with regards to these new trends? Yeah, so this is an interesting one because it's changed a lot here over the last 10 years in our industry. So uh, as our customers have seen their demand outpace their resources, as we all know, resources in materials and people and everything else are very, very uh, difficult at the moment in terms of finding enough of that. Um, we've looked to partner closer with all of our customers. So what we've done is continue to expand our portfolio of what we call advanced platforms. So instead of selling just components, now we're taking the components that we manufacture, we're integrating them together, we're putting controls to them, so we're able to now deliver a fully functional uh, chassis to our customers that have oh, come in and it's ready to tool up. So we're taking some of the onus off of our customers uh, by delivering a, you know, a fully functional platform that they can then tool up and do what they're good at, which is developing the process and then making that process functional for their customers to be able to build the product that that machine is uh, intended to produce. Okay, so going off script just a little bit, would you say that, um, does that mean that your company has moved from manufacturing more into assembly as you? No, it really means that we've moved more from being just a component supplier uh -huh. to providing integrated platforms. A whole system. Yep. So we don't we don't touch parts, we don't do process, that's what our customers, machine builders do. So we don't do the welding, we don't do the pick and placing, we don't do the robotic side of it, um, we don't touch parts, but what we will do is build a full motion control platform that our customers then can, hits their floor, it allows them to commission products faster, get them to their customers faster, with less risk, because it's something we do every day. Um, you know, and especially with machine builders, they don't necessarily do the same task every day. They, you know, serve so many different types of customers and processes. So something that we're very good at is the motion control portion of it. So we'll deliver it a fully, you know, functional uh, motion control platform to our customers who will then tool it up with their fixtures and other process equipment uh, in order for, you know, the, them to be able to meet, you know, the timelines and delivery uh, and a fully functional system for their customer. Great. Okay. Thank you. What products do you have at the show this week that demonstrate Weiss's capabilities we are discussing currently? So for anybody who's watching today, we're at booth 113, um, but we're demonstrating our LS hybrid chassis. So what that is is a pallet conveyor system. 
uh, and we call it a hybrid because it uses uh, three different types of drive mechanisms and positioning mechanisms within that system. So we're using belts, cams, as well as linear motors uh, for doing the movement and the positioning of the pallets in that system, which allows the customer to uh, ha have an overall uh, more efficient machine, and not just in terms of how the machine functions, but also from a cost effectiveness. So instead of having a linear motor system, you know, in terms of the entire track, you can use belts in certain areas, which is a cost savings, as well as cams, which could be a cost savings for, you know, for the customer in the end for a large system. Um, in addition to that, we have what we call a flex style system, which is a servo uh, rotary chassis, uh, but it also has our two axis pick and place robotics on that system as well. So it's again, it's a fully functional chassis that can be delivered to our customers, pick and place chassis uh, that's uh, fully programmable because everything is either servo or robotically driven with linear motors. Um, so those are two main newer products that we have on the market. In addition to that, we're also showcasing our uh, multi-axis linear motion gantry systems. So these are products that we've had in the market for, for a number of years. Uh, but again, you know, for high precision, high speed, uh, positioning of parts, dispensing of product, uh, that's what that product typically is being utilized for by our customers. Okay, great, thank you so much. I know um, also, going off script again, I know that um, Weiss has been exhibiting here for a long time, is that yeah. right? Yes, from Do the very beginning. Do you remember from the very beginning? So all 10 years, yes. Weiss has been here? Yeah. That's great. Yes, yeah. so we've been here from the very beginning. Actually, I was talking to a couple of colleagues this week and I've actually been coming to this show. I know that Assembly's now back, you know, the last 10 years running the show, but right. you know, the show didn't go away. Uh, so I've been coming to the show since 1995. Oh, okay. Yeah, so wow. This is old, old homecoming every year at this time, and uh, always enjoy it. A lot of uh, new faces and a lot of old faces as well, so it's been a lot of fun so seeing it. what everybody. would you say are the biggest changes you've seen over the last 10 years? Uh, simply, simply the technology, right? I mean, that's right. The, the main thing is, you know, technology's moving so quickly. Uh, and the great thing is that, you know, you see our customers that are, you know, really embracing that technology change. So, you know, moving into robotics, moving into linear motion, you know, we used to be mainly a CAM oriented company with CAM indexing tables, CAM pick and places. And today, you know, we're much more of a linear motion company, uh, okay. motion control company, utilizing a lot of linear motor technology as well as uh, servo motor technology. Great, okay, thank you so much. So just, I guess, for one, a final question, what's on your radar right now, or where do you see um, the future heading for WISE specifically? Well, for sure, you know, what we call integral, which is what we do is taking our components, we're putting them together, uh, we're, we're powering them up, we're the, the, you know, designing our own software to go around those products to make it easier for our customers to um, program our equipment. But in addition to that, we're doing a lot of things with digitalization. So uh, simulation software, being able to design that machine before you ever get a, uh, you know, a piece of hardware into your, your, your company. Um, in real time, you can actually do these things. And it's, it's, it's a, it, that's the future of what this industry is going to be. Allows people to design and build their machines faster, more accurately, uh, and then also get the machines you know, to their customers as quickly as possible. Okay, great. Is there anything you'd like to add before we close today? No, I just appreciate the opportunity to be here today. And uh, oh, the show absolutely. looks like it's busy, so can't wait yeah. to get out there and see some customers. Great, thank you so much. And once again, thank you so much for your support this year. And um, I just, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, it allows us to have interesting conversations and, you know, uh, produce the podcast. So I really appreciate the support great. Weiss has given Assembly Audible this year. All right, thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in to Assembly Audible. I'm Jennifer Pierce, multimedia editor with Assembly Magazine. For more insights on assembling discrete parts into finished products and the people behind it all, visit our website, assemblymag.com. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast to keep up with our latest episodes. We're also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, so we invite you to follow us there too. This has been Assembly Audible. Thanks for listening.